we at COAI are very proud of our new logo because it uh, expresses the aspiration that we have to be a more inclusive association, especially in the context of the converged environment that we are moving to. As we are looking at broadband and data, we all recognize that more and more industries that were once separate and disparate are now coming together because our interests are converging, the technology is converging, and so therefore our shout out which we have, which is this big blob here, is really the young people's uh, expression, hey, shout out something, include people, let's have a communication, and this is the wider issue that we are encouraging vis-a-vis -vis our association, membership in our association, affiliation with our association. We highlighted the fact that broadband and data is going to be the next revolution. We've come through the voice revolution. We as an industry put India on the map. We're the second largest market, and we're hoping to do that exactly also for broadband. By 2020, if the government's goals are cheap, we will have 600 million um, people who use the internet. That will make us the single largest uh, country, perhaps, of internet users. So we're very uh, bullish, we're very uh, optimistic about that. Now, when you look at what will enhance that uh, objective in terms of both uh, achieving it and doing it well, we recognize that we have to have more members in our association that are part and parcel of our initiative to make that happen. Secondly, we have to focus on the enhancing policy environment because one of the things that we've said for success we must have a very stable and predictable uh, regulatory and policy I think NTP 2012 has already laid the foundation for that minister has talked about the component pieces we've talked about the auction the pricing of the auction I think in general we support uh, the TRA recommendations we've talked about the SUC charge which we think is a critical component of that there are a few issues on unified licensing which are sub judicial we're hoping that the courts will clear that and then we can move forward under that umbrella. We are also looking at the M&A guidelines coming out because I think once uh, we have a broader spectrum of people who want to play, uh, if you invite them, we should also provide them with an easy exit if they, for whatever reason, feel that they need to leave. So spectrum sharing, spectrum trading, the uh, combination of entities and the resultant costs that may come up as a result of that, uh, the legal environment in terms of the tax issues and uh, the issue of transfer pricing and jurisdiction of uh, international players, all of that has to be looked at in order to take the policy uh, issue forward. And I think, again, the specificity of the auction that is about to come out, two components, one is obviously the 1800-900 auction, we think will be successful. I think there are lots of our members who are very interested. Uh, also, we are hoping that either separately or uh, sometime in the future, the 2.1 megahertz spectrum will also come up for auction. The industry is starved for spectrum. I think we need it to enhance the quality and the experience of the customer, which is what is holding us back. That extra spectrum coming online, I think, is going to be a great uh, impetus for the industry going forward. Okay. Will you be uh, welcoming the new foreign players during the next uh, Spectrum auction? Is there uh, a room for such players? One with the 100% FDI now being uh, the norm, uh, in the industry, uh, we uh, would gladly uh, look to have foreign folks come and participate with us either through a debt um, instrument or a equity instrument or as players. Uh, we've always welcomed competition. We've never been shy of competition. It's going to take a special breed of companies to be able to compete effectively in this market. And so uh, we welcome that. But if you look globally, in order for a robust, uh, economically stable and, uh, uh, and a sort of profitable industry that gives value to the consumer, and is able to invest the types of money that is required in this particular industry. Worldwide, we've seen you really have only about four or five big, efficient uh, players in each market. Today in India, we have upwards of about 9, 10, 11, and we think there's opportunity for consolidation and for an optimal uh, group of about five to six operators that really take the industry forward. So mobile broadband is you know, creating a lot of concerns among the users how telecom operators are addressing such issues or what are the you know complaints from the operator side so two real concerns that we keep hearing from our customers one is that uh, the coverage that they're experiencing is not ubiquitous so they are on 4g they may be on 3g then they are flipped to 2g and uh, the speeds are uh, are not sustainable so that is clearly an issue in terms of the investments that are necessary to be made in the infrastructure and in the network so we clearly recognize that the next thing that uh, we have to focus on is the handset and how we include the handset because that's going to be an integral part 
of the experience. Not only was the broadband in terms of the spectrum and good amounts of it, the affordability of that spectrum, the availability of the handsets, the smartphones at reasonable prices, and the nature and ubiquitousness of the network and the infrastructure, those are all components that will create a successful broadband. Today we are simply not there and we really need to focus on getting there. Okay, has the 3G investment impacted negatively on the ecosystem? Is there a you know exit route from that? Uh, we are saying is that uh, there are not too many folks who are looking to exit. I mean, you've already seen Qualcomm uh, agreeing to merge, or if you will, consolidate with Airtel um, in order to put together a more robust Pan India license uh, and a footprint. So, other than that, I don't know that there'll be many other players that may be able to exit or want to exit. It's very valuable spectrum. We see a lot of opportunity. Maybe some folks have overpaid for it, and as a result, may want to trade it or enter into equity arrangements with others. Those those are all options that MA hopefully will address, but clearly we see people wanting more of uh, 3G spectrum, not less. What will be the you know, focus area for the next year, the operators? For the operators, clearly the uh, focus area is going to be, hey, let's get the spectrum that is going to come up, let's consolidate our operations, let's get the investment that is necessary to invest in the infrastructure, let's continue to focus on broadband. We all see that data is going to be the next uh, big revolution. How do we price it? Uh, how do we get smartphones into the hands of the consumer at reasonable prices? How do we train and educate them to use it? Those are all going to be critical components of the push in the next year.